it's 10-10-2013. Welcome to 99th Monkey News, formerly known as 50 Cent Tour of the Day. This isn't really news, just some information that makes it easy to share what is going on with the banks with people who are uninitiated. This website is positivemoney.org. There's a very simple video here. Uh, watch 10-year-old Holly explain where debt and money come from and what it means for you. Just as I said, simple, helpful, and if people don't believe you when you tell them what's going on with the banks, maybe they'll believe Holly. And for people who have trouble believing that the banks are related to Obamacare, here is some information that bridges that gap to some extent. Bad credit, no Obamacare for you. And uh, this is a lady who has been trained to facilitate people signing up for Obamacare. And she clearly states that your credit scores can be used to determine how much you will pay for Obamacare your credit score is being factored in as a, a risk factor for health insurance. And she had very vehemently said earlier that, that your credit scores wouldn't impact what you pay, but then well, the story got changed. The Florida healthcare navigator has since retracted her statements saying she was wrong. So if she was wrong about credit scores not playing a role, they do play a role. The Tenth Amendment Center has an article, Constitution Gives House of Reps the Weapon to Destroy Obamacare. Article 1, Section 7 of the Constitution requires that, quote, all bills for raising revenue shall originate in the House of Representatives, but the Senate may propose or concur with amendments as on other bills, end quote. There it is. Only the House of Representatives has the authority to raise revenue. And they don't want to raise revenue from care, do they? Paul Craig Roberts has an article, A Caesar in Our Future, What Happens if Down Causes the Treasury to Run Out of Money. There is some pretty shocking information here. There is a real possibility that, that Obama could do something rather drastic. How that would play out, I don't know. But Paul Craig Roberts, who I, for whom I have deep respect, uh, addresses that this is a possibility. So pray for peace and for a just and peaceful resolution to this affront to American liberty that's being perpetrated by the bankers through puppets. The Universal Seduction has this article, Obama Cuts Egypt Aid Demanding Return of Church Burners to Power. Now, a lot of foreign aid is continuing under the shutdown, so this is not a part of the shutdown. I have the Coyote blog homepage here because there are a few articles and I wanted to scroll through. Index to all my park shutdown posts sticky new posts below this one. If you're looking for information, you want to talk to people about park shutdowns, you can find a lot here. And I, this, the park shutdown really seems to pique the interest of a lot of people who normally don't pay a whole lot of attention to what is going on with the government. So this is, this is an opening for us to talk to people about what's really going on. Here's another article from Coyote Blog. Should I resort to civil disobedience and reopen our privately funded parks? Good question. I will let you sort that one out. And here is an article that I wanted to focus on as well. Why the shutdown of concessionaires is arbitrary and capricious. I read something yesterday that there is an inn on the Blue Ridge Parkway that has been shut down. Imagine if you had your wedding planned around that or, you know, some, some big life event 
and you've had reservations for months, maybe even years, and now all of a sudden the place is closed. Uh, that, that's just a nightmare. And I, I read that that same inn was bringing in about 30 grand in tax money per, I think it was per month. And this is the really big time of the year in that area of the country. This is when the fall colors begin to really light up and the, just a very bad idea to close, to close parks. Here's another bad idea. This article is from Natural News. UK government threatens to cut funding to hospitals that refuse to force vaccines on staff. I'll just let that one marinate with you. From End the Lie, here is an article. Virginia State Police used automatic license plate readers to build massive database of political rally attendees. And another privacy-related issue, you've probably seen this headline. This is from the Daily Caller. White House and IRS exchanged confidential taxpayer info. Top Internal Revenue Service Obamacare official Sarah Hall Ingram discussed confidential taxpayer information with senior Obama White House officials, according to 2012 emails obtained by the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee and provided to the Daily Caller. So if you think that your information is, is kept confidential, if you think the IRS keeps your information confidential, you might want to think again. From the Daily Paul, and here's an interesting article, James Woods, I don't expect to work again in Hollywood after repeatedly criticizing Obama. Well, what a great loss that would be because he's just a, such an enjoyable actor. <laughs> he's a very entertaining person, very unique, a little, almost like Christopher Walken, kind of that uh, crazy bad guy attitude. And I hope that independent filmmakers will pick up on this and put him in a lot of their films because kudos to him for speaking out when he knows that it will cost him. From Conscious Life News, here's an article, Scottish Isles, Colonse and Oronse to become honeybee havens. I guess in some respects that is good news. In other respects it's completely tragic that it's necessary to do something that radical. And you may have read about this yesterday, the NSA meltdown, Utah data compound suffers power surge damage. Is this happening because the White Hats are fighting back or is this just some random malfunction? I saw a photo yesterday with black smoke coming out. I'm not sure if that was dramatized or not. Uh, in the, here's this is a good question. Is this happening because the White Hats are fighting back, or is this just some random malfunction? I noticed Alex Jones said the other day that uh, if Utah just would refuse to allow them to pump enough water, which is they they require 1.7 million gallons a day, if Utah would just say you can't have the water to run this facility, we don't believe this is a constitutional facility that would have an interesting result. So maybe this, maybe this, somebody did something or maybe this is just the hand of God. Uh, you know, we do believe that at a certain point God will intervene on our behalf. And I would not rule that out. For our good news pertaining to health for the day, Natural News as an article, these medicinal herbs make great additions to your herbal medicine or tea cabinet. So there are some helpful herbs that you can just uh, put a little in your tea and you're good to go. And another health article from Natural News, health benefits of grapeseed extract. So if you're looking for some Health advantages, you can probably find them through some of those natural remedies. Thank you for joining us for today's look at the news. 
Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hoping that you will love one another, take care, and insist on liberty.